So if you're moving your data between regions, if you're moving your data across continents, if your customers are a long way away physically from the AWS regions, or you're moving a large number of objects, uh, this becomes more and more of a problem. And so we asked a pretty simple question. Given that we have this large edge network uh, with CloudFront, which provides content delivery, so that is accelerated delivery down into the regions, can we use that exact same network in reverse and use the edge network, which CloudFront and Route 53, our DNS service, use, which are continually monitoring the state and routing traffic intelligently through the edge network to get as much movement through that network as possible? Can we use that in reverse? And can we speed up data in both directions, not just coming down through edge delivery, but also going back up to the cloud? And today, we're announcing a new feature for S3 called S3 Transfer Acceleration. S3 Transfer Acceleration accelerates transfers to S3 using the AWS Edge Network, and it'll be available from tomorrow. So the Transfer Acceleration service provides 300% faster uploads for most use cases, and we've seen it even faster in other use cases, and I'll give you some customer examples of that. And there's no cost for using the Transfer Acceleration service if it's not faster. So in the event that the network is just the same as a normal upload, you don't pay for the Transfer Acceleration. Now, all this is great. Faster uploads are great. 4x improvement in the upload speed is great. But this is my favorite feature of the Transfer Acceleration service. To enable this, you don't need to configure protocols or endpoints or configure ports or any of that. You go into the AWS Management Console, and you check this box. You check Enabled. And you get a new endpoint, and anything sent to that acceleration endpoint will be automatically accelerated through the AWS Edge Network. Click Save, and you're done. So we have some early private beta customers that have been using, uh, using the S3 transfer acceleration feature. Uh, Frame.io are a video collaboration service. You can imagine they have people out in the field recording video, and they want to get it into the cloud so they can collaborate around it. And they saw performance <laughs> improvements of about 500% in some cases. Huddle do video analysis to, uh, for sports teams. And they reduce the average time it takes to ingest videos by half. And Jaunt is an amazing company. They provide cinematic virtual reality recording. They have this big sphere, which has tons of cameras on it, generates a huge amount of video. And they want to get that back up into the cloud so they can start projecting it. And they reduce the transfer of large files from 12 hours down to six or even four using the transfer acceleration service. That's available to all customers from tomorrow.